you. I was inspired to try this. I have a new camera and so I'm learning how to use it and how to get on Facebook with it and all that kind of stuff so that it can point down so you can see what I'm doing. So my name is Judith and you are in Jesus journaling right now. And if you are watching this live, please tell me below and say hi. And um, so I'm going to get into this. I, I'm also from hisunmeasuredgrace.com where I blog. And so I'm going to be doing this and showing you. Some of you are new. Some of you are not. So if you're new, what I suggest, you can do this on a page. Or you can do it in a notebook. Or you can do it on your Bible like I am. I did it in pencil first because um, it's dangerous to do it in a pen first or a, a, like a Prismacolor pen or something like this. This is also, this is Arteza and um, it has a marker at both ends, it has two caps. So you can do something with a real fine, I don't know whether you can see that because it's so fine or a thicker one and I'm going to be using the thicker one for this and I am going to be putting this matte type of thing. You can use a piece of printer paper. I sometimes use that and put it behind because I'm going to be using a little bit of paint when I get down here. And I always start from the top and work down because I have a habit of smearing it. So here we go. And I hope you can see what I'm doing without my head getting in the way. But I'm going over to try to add a little more color. And maybe I should have picked a darker color because this one isn't really showing up that well. And, or as well as I would like. I had it all picked out beforehand, but oh well. I wanted it to be purple because I wanted it to match. I have a whole set of these that I got, um, these pens, that I got from Amazon. Actually, my husband got them for me for Christmas. So, the black is nice. I like the black. And I'll sometimes just thicken up the black, but it sometimes I just like to have the color kind of pop. And so I will go over. These tips are kind of neat because they're they kind of have a um a brush type of feel to them. So you almost feel like you're painting, but it is with a with a pen, which gives me a little more feeling of control because sometimes the pen the, or the paintbrush kind of feels scary and it can go wherever it wants instead of where I want it to. So the neat thing about journaling, which I hope more of you do, and if you do, some of you don't share them, and it really, really encourages me if you do. And so I would really hope that you shared them in the group because you, you shouldn't even be worried about whether it's beautiful or not because that really doesn't matter whether you think it's beautiful or not. Somebody else will. And often, what I, I am drawn to the um, simplicity of a journal. It's To me, it's even more beautiful than when I kind of get carried away with my pencil and then I have to do all the things in my crayons. I use... Uh, Prismacolor pencils a lot, a lot. Now I'm going to take this, no, I was going to paint that. So here's my paintbrush, and I have a little, this is from my laundry thing, and I use that for a little bit of water. And then these are, I forget what they're called, uh, they're Japanese. I was born in Japan, so I kind of like that they're Japanese. And um, they're Japanese pens, and I can, probably if I remember, link them in the, um, what do you call it, in the description box. And I like doing the um, outline of my drawing in, in, in my um, pen, which I think the pen I use is too far away. But a black Prismacolor pen or Arteza pen, because it gives it a definition and sometimes, for some reason, when I do um, pencil, it shows up for some reason. It just shows, you know? And I'm not, see, if you can see that, if you can see it close enough, I just went out of the lines. And I really don't worry about that. 
I don't worry about the perfection because this isn't about the art. It's about the heart. And it's about you drawing closer to Jesus as you do this. So you shouldn't be worried about whether you can do it right. Even if you are not artistic at all, copy some of my designs. I usually, I got inspired for this from something on Pinterest. Okay, that's how original I am. It was, it was not a journaling art thing. It was just something, um, actually it was an advertisement for something. <laughs> and I copied... Ooh, I really went out of the lines that time. See, that's the problem with doing it live. And I'm standing up, not sitting down, and I'm further away. But you know what? That's okay. Because I don't want you to feel like it has to be absolutely beautiful. And so that's that. And now I'm going to like clean off my brush a little bit. And I don't worry about if it's not cleaned off enough. That's just me. I'm not uh, a perfectionist in some things. And I... When I am, it sure gets me in trouble, like I used to with my house, trying to keep it clean. You can't keep a house clean with kids, you know? But anyway, here you go. Here's the cross. And the Bible verse that I'm doing is, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And I have it in the description, the whole uh, 11 verses that... I've been concentrating the last, actually, three days. I've been kind of camping out there because I was so sick yesterday. That I didn't even have my quiet time. I was, I got up and went right back to he bed because I bent over and I'd had a headache during the night and it went crazy. And I was in bed or on the sofa the entire day, which is just not me. I don't do things like that very often. So I'm going to do Hosanna. I almost put my finger right in the paint. Not good, right? But that is like the way I do it. <laughs> I do things like that. And so if you do, don't worry about it. And then I take this handy dandy heat gun that I got El Cheapo on um, Amazon. And I dry off the paint. Even my things here can be kind of. Well, that just, just gives you the idea. And that's just quick. I think it took me a few minutes to do. Even, even the pencil and the pen over it, it didn't take long. So you can see, you can journal in about 10 or 15 minutes tops. That's why I've been doing like part of a verse here and this. Now this journal isn't. This, to, this is more like a tutorial to show you how to do it, to encourage you to journal with me. This isn't a devotional. So I'll be sharing one of those probably um, maybe Friday or something because I have four that I did about the Easter week last year that I have on YouTube that I'll share back to the group. So look, look for them. And I don't know the time, but you'll find them. If you go straight to the group, it, you know, if you catch things in your feed, you're going to miss things. Go right straight to Jesus Journaling. And, and see what we have there for you. So have a wonderfully blessed day and journal with me. All right. Thank you. Bye.